journal uh, last art journal page in my studio in my old studio before I'm moving I am pre-recording this and it's almost 4 a.m. I have coffee I woke up at 2 a.m. and then I've just been rolling around in my bed and I couldn't sleep so I got up at around 3 and then I thought well why and I'm not going to do my video now. I've already started packing. My studio is chaos. I'm done with my bedroom and um, I need to work on my kitchen. So I have to go through my stash to see what I want to do and what I can find. Um, so I'll be back. So I'm hoping to get a good setup for my studio, uh, my new apartment, because it is it is smaller. It is a one bedroom apartment, so I only have a living room, and I might need to get myself a little corner in that living room. stuff lying around here so I have to figure out some things. I got some of Punchinella in a heart shape. Ooh, and that's a hair. And that's dust. That's kind of gross. And I got some tool. Maybe I want some red bubble wrap. That is vermilion. So I think I'm going to use that as a bubble wrap. But I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller. sure if I want to go in with some really light um, blue or white but I think I'm gonna go with the blue
sort of dry and I have this huge piece of um, tool here and I think I want to paint the whole thing white and then use it as some sort of stem and that's what I'm going to do now um, I'm going to put paper towel underneath it so you probably won't see anything Using a dry brush again. Let's see if this is even working. I might want to use my roller, my braid right here. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. I don't know if you can see this, but I picked up like the cool texture from from the um, you know the thing, the tool and the paper towel. And I'm gonna zoom in for you so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. And there you go. See the wire kind of texture that is so cool I love that okay so this needs to dry as well oh the other way around please there we go okay I'm gonna dry this and I'll be back oops <coughs> Now I'm just going to add one of Christy Tomlinson's stands, that's her the Stitch Daffodil. I'm going to add that for some texture. And I'm thinking maybe oh, stamp. That one is from Stampin' Up. It's Baroque Border. I don't know if that's still like available. It's probably no longer available. And now I think I want spritzers of white. And I'm not going to use Studio Calico's spray. You know, I got the white from them. Because it is, seriously, 
on, I don't know, was it on one of these pictures? Yeah. There are still spots in here that are not dry yet. And that was take, I, yeah, I did these pages like three weeks ago. Three, one, two, three, four, whatever. Four weeks ago. And even after a week, like some spots were not dry yet. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a whole lot of white. Mmm, yummy. Love that paint. Okay, I got white spritzers all over me. Uh, gonna let this dry and then I think I'm gonna write the word change on here because that background, I'm loving it and it change is the word in my life. This week, you know, because of the move and everything. And also, thank you all so much for your well wishes for my move. So, I love reading your comments on YouTube and on my blog. So, um, thank you. Gonna let this dry, ladies and, and, and gentlemen. If there's any gentlemen watching, um, my background is finished, and now I am. trying to figure out how I'm going to put the word change on there and I am thinking about using like black acrylic paint and I'm not sure if I want to use my finger so I would just write the word change on here What do you think? Finger or should I go with the brush instead? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Well, I know that if I use... I'm just gonna go with my finger. self-carved um, stands on my work change here. I have no idea if this is even going to work out. But I want to add texture to to my painted words here, so I am just going to play with it.
just going to doodle with my white pen around the letters. <laughs> I think the page speaks for itself, right? Change is good because it is good, and it is May twelve. May twelve. Whoops. to zoom in for you so that you can see the awesome texture on the background as well as my little word here so oops let me zoom in for you okay so here we got the <coughs> excuse me the um, awesome texture with the um, uh, with the mosquito netting. No, it was tool this time. I love the grid texture. So cool. And we did that with the roller stick, um, with the with the brayer. So, and that's acrylic paint. So much better than the than the spray paint. And then we have the word, the letters right here. Like I said, it just Using my finger, you can still see the black in there. Right there is the black. And there, dirty. Anyway, um, I used my finger to write the letters, and then I stamped on it as well. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer so you can see the stamps. Focus. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but like the right here, the dark spot, that's my stitching stamp, and then there's the Sharon stamp and the stitching stamp again, and the, the little banner stamp. So I hope that you can see that in the close-up pictures. And of course I did, you know, the doodling with the white pen. Kind of looks like it's been stitched on my page now. And then there's, the life is good, change is good, sorry. And of course, date stamp. Okay, so this was this week's uh, art journal page right before my move into my new apartment. So hopefully um, May 19th you'll get a video from my new apartment. So, um, and some other news, I'm also working on my first um, art journal workshop. And I'm really excited about it and I will launch it June 1st so I'm definitely going to use my internet free time so see you all again next week. Peace.
Mm-hmm.